Let's move on to 1.2. 1.2 says, illustrated below are steps and some instructions to assemble a deck chair. To assemble the deck chair, the wooden pieces are joined together using fasteners, which are screws, bolts, washers, and nuts. There are 32 pieces in the packet of fasteners, right? So all of these together, screws, bolts, washers, and nuts, those all have to add up to 32. It says each bolt is secured by a nut and a washer. Okay, that's perfect. So let's go and see. These things always I find very confusing because I feel like it makes me want to be Bob the Builder and I'm not very DIY inclined. But let's just make sure we understand the steps. Look, there's step one, step two, step three, step four. Students seem to think that this is step one. It's not, right? You need to read. So let's start by looking at our questions here at the bottom. So the first question says, use the information above to answer the questions that follow. It says, determine the number of uh, number of type C bolts used to assemble the deck chair. Okay, now this is quite important because we need to look here and it says, okay, A, B, C, D, and E, right? These are all my fasteners. How many do they all add up to? Well, we just spoke about this, 32. So all of these need to add up to 32. So what we do is we say 32 minus the numbers we have and whatever's left over, well, that has to be our bolts. Okay, so we're going to say 32 minus 8 minus 8 minus six, minus eight, and that leaves me with two. So there can only be two bolts, okay? So that's the kind of logic I want you to start being comfortable using, okay? So we're gonna say 32 minus eight, minus eight, minus six, minus eight equals two bolts, right? And that's the kind of logic you need to be using and that's the kind of information you need to be extracting. Then it says, state the number of nuts left over after step one is completed. Okay, so here, it says attach the seat using bolts, right? Uh, B, nuts E, and washers D to the two front legs. Okay, attach the long brace using the screws A. So it says state the number of nuts left over um, after step one is completed, right? So if we look here, right, for each of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, there has to be a bolt, a nut, and a washer, okay? Now, we know that we only have eight nuts, right? So if we have used six for each of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, so you can use, you have to use the picture. We're only gonna have two left because it's gonna be eight minus six, which gives me two, okay? And so do you see how you need to use this logic, right? So you'd be left with two nuts, okay? And that's how I want you to be thinking. These questions, I know, can be a bit tricky, but they're easy marks. Let's get to the last question. Okay, last question says, name the last piece required to complete the assembly of the deck chair. So, go to the last step, which is this one, right? Step four. And what is the last thing that's added? Well, the last thing that the last thing that is added is what? The short brace. That's what's there. So, you say, well, the last thing that's added is the short brace. And we're done, right? That's that. Now, because this video is short, I'm going to continue with 1.3 and we're just going to finish off this question. Now, my printer did me dirty again, right? And it didn't print out my map so well, but I've highlighted it, looked, it on, looked at it online and made sure that I can answer this question appropriately. So here's a map. It says below is a map of Northwest showing destination towns and cities and interleading roads. Now, I've highlighted a couple things in green, right? Now, Freiburg... Lichtenberg and Blumf Blumhof, those are not destination town cities. Why? Because they're not, they haven't got those little borders around them, okay? So only these ones are destination ones, okay? So let's look. 1.3.1, it says, identify, and we're using the map, the type of scale used in the map. Now, look over there. There's the scale, okay? What we call that is we call that a line scale or a bar scale, right? Or a graphic scale. You can use any of those. I'm going to just say, because it's easy for me to write down, I'm just going to say it is a bar scale. And then we can move on. You see these questions, question one of um, papers are not generally that difficult. So if you want to jump forward to the other videos for this paper, that's also fine. Name the province that lies east of northwest. Now, there's north. Okay, so there would be east. If I'm standing at northwest and I look east, what am I looking at? I'm looking at Gauteng. So that's your answer. It is Gauteng. Okay, 
Obviously, when you get your paper, guys, you will be getting paper that is in color and will be much better printed than my nasty printer, right? So don't stress if you're like, you can't see much on this map marks, but that's okay. 1.2.3, identify the national roads passing through Freiburg. So you can't see it here, but this is kind of how it goes. And then it goes down there. So the two national roads are N17 and N14. That's your answer, right? Obviously, the clarity will be a bit better when you do it. But N14 and N17, and that is us done. Let's go to our second last question for this video. It says, write down the number of destination towns or cities shown on the map. Now, remember I said they're the ones that have the little border around them. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's your answer. Your answer is seven. Let's get to our very last question. And then we are done. It says, measure in millimeters the direct distance as the crow flies from Blomhof to Lichtenberg, okay? So it doesn't want us to convert it into anything other than what it is. It literally just wants us to measure the distance, okay? So where are we going from? It says from Blomhof. So Blomhof is over here. I think the little dot for Blomhof is actually over there. Little, um, and we're gonna measure. Okay, so there's the dot, sorry. There's the dot and there's the dot for Lichtenberg. So those are the two. Okay, and if I am correct, that is 39. Do you see how I use the millimeter side of my actual ruler, right? Make it easy for yourself. So I'm going to say 39 millimeters, right? Please make sure to put in your um, uh, measurements, 39 or your units, 39 millimeters. You get kind of like a millimeter leeway either side, but that's us done for this question. We can now move on to question two.